welcome back to Ubud. Uh, today it's a little bit overcast, but uh, me and my new Dutch friends over here have decided to uh, rent some scooters and go to uh, the Seven Temples on some mountain somewhere in the east. So hopefully it doesn't rain and hopefully we get there on time. Right now we're just filling up. After about two and a half hours winding through traffic and up uh, little windy hill roads, we are finally at the starting point for our trek today, which is to the Seven Temples. It should take about three or four hours, so we're definitely going to be driving back in the dark tonight. Um, it's a little bit overcast here too, but no rain so far and there's still a little bit of sunshine, so hopefully it clears up, but yeah, we've got a long ways to walk up the hill today. Uh, before we head up, we need to get some food because we have only had little pancakes for breakfast that our hostel gave us, so <laughs> kind of hungry. <laughs> and we got these uh, special sarongs because when we go to the temples, you can't have pants on. You have to have a sarong, apparently. Thank you. You want spicy? No. No. Spicy, no. Apparently the thing to do up here at the temple is to take poses back there with this gate and what would probably be a mountain back there, but uh, it's too cloudy. I'm sorry. Hello, hello. Uh, I'm sorry. Oh, hey, hello, hello. <laughs> <laughs> Coffee bean, this one. Yeah, this is a uh, robusta coffee. In Bali, we have two kind of coffee: arabica and robusta. Arabica, big one, and robusta, small one. Yes, there are fit at night and sleep during the day. Yeah, they eat the coffee bean and the food with the morning tea coffee. They eat banana also, papaya, and yeah, many fruits because are not good every day. They eat the coffee bean or the stomach. Yeah, normally they live in the jungle, but here because we have baby luak, small one. <laughs> oh. Are you allowed to pet them? Y yes. Oh. Yes? But, uh, Are they aggressive? Yes, they, they bite? bite also. Oh, okay. Yes. <laughs> but I'm... Um, <laughs> well, when we got to the top of the uh, the hill, we were going to trek up to see the rest of the seven temples. It was really, really cloudy and misty, so we decided to come back down. Took another hour drive back into Chengadasi, or Chengadasa, where I was uh, last year. Um, link in the description. And um, we came to a Kopi Luwak plantation, and right behind me here are the, the little Luwak animals that are kind of like a, a weasel. Luwak eat a coffee bean and then come out like this yeah I drive five days yeah and then so this is what they shit, this shit yeah this is the, the, yeah, yeah. from the luak <laughs> yeah and then I'm cleaning with hot water until the beans look like this okay. yeah after clean I am roasting over there mm. 
normal coffee. Mm -hmm. I make ginseng coffee. I make coconut coffee from this one. One of the ladies here at the plantation was nice enough to take us around and show us some of the uh, plants and stuff like that. And uh, now we're going to sit down and try some of her other stuff. She does uh, free samples of stuff, but then the Kopi Luwak is actually 60000 so we've got two glasses of that coming. <laughs> uh, hopefully it's the best coffee I've yeah, ever had, because everybody uh, talks about it, but it comes about in a really weird way. Well. It may look like normal coffee, but it is not normal coffee, that's for sure. So here's for our first cup of uh, civet coffee, or coffee luwak. Cheers. According to the story of Kopi Luwak, this coffee uh, comes from the droppings of the civet cat and uh, is reprocessed and roasted and made into coffee again. Uh, didn't taste bad the first time, so... Apparently it's one of the most expensive uh, per pound or per kilogram um, drinks in the world. on the road to Ubud. Probably gonna be riding in the dark. As always, thank you for watching this video. Like and subscribe below if you think I deserve it and wanna see more from my backpacking adventures around the world. Check out my previous videos for inspiration. Ask questions and leave comments below. My social media links are in the description for extra tips and photos. On that note, safe travels and never stop adventuring.